This lady that will be coming on stage has been around for a very long time. From the days of Chief Sir Bobby Benson and walked away. In fact, the, one of the first early ladies that ventured into instrumental music with African touch. In fact, she took the Hausa folklore to a new dimension from Ghana to Cote d'Ivoire to Togo, all over Africa. And she's now back in Nigeria. I'm talking about Aisha Mohammed. Put your hands together for Aisha. Ya Rabbi Allah, Wahidum, Roko Kamuke, Hoy. Ya Rabbi Allah, Allah, Wahidum, Roko Kamuke. So I shouldn't stop the program. You're right, I won't. But you see, while I was there, I met this great woman of songs and watched her do her thing on stage. That is a tantalizing dance. So I quickly rushed out to have a chat with her. So sit back and relax and let's listen to our chat. Tell us the kind of music you play and where you get your inspiration. I play reggae, I play a full funk. So let's see pop music in short, in house. Okay, why did you decide to take that chart in music? Because when I was a small girl, I grew up with Bobby Benson at the age of, I started at the age of six. Okay. And uh, there was Shata or whatever, you know, different kind of tradition or something. And uh, there was a band Mariah with Lori Jita. Okay. But when I just think, I said, ah, can't this sweet, sexy, romantic language, international language as an Elsa language, can't you go with reggae? I just try and listen. Maybe directly or indirectly, you've been following, you know, the progress of the music industry. What do you think um, the music industry has in store for us now? Mm, the music industry are okay for the lucky ones. Like somebody like me, I've been with Pima for over 20 years before ever they think of organizing whatever Bobby Benson. This is the first time I'm getting show from Pima over 20 years. Okay. What do you think um, about concert performances? here in the country do you think there's more there's a lot of concert exposure or do you think that a lot more should be done to encourage concerts no they do they're trying they're trying of concerts whatever they're trying but this is my first time of performing my life in my country in 32 years this is the first show i ever performed 
you know, you something so like this. Like it's not bad, I'm proud. I'm here, how they call this place, Asaba, mm -hmm. and I love it too, and I wish I would remain here, okay. because I love this place, and uh, that's it, I'm happy. What would you say Asaba. to your fans who listen to your music, or to the people in the Nigerian industry? Okay, well, I would tell them that they should stop copywriting. Whatever is your language, try to do others, la, 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 oh, 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 whatever. Do it in your own language. I don't believe in copyright. I hate people that are copying. Anybody that are copying, being a copyright, I will never respect him as an artist. He's not, so far as I'm concerned. Even Michael Jazz, if he did a copyright, I count him out as a musician. You have to do something. If you like, clap your hands or whistle mm -hmm. and get some music. That's yours, African something. I believe in real. I don't believe in copyright. Inazamu, 